Uh, hey, silly Sean here. Nope, just kidding. It's World Edit Sean. I'm all kinds of Seans. I'm all kinds of lag. And today I want to show you how to do something called a schematic. I had a question in the last one. Someone was asking if there was a way to copy a building from one world to another using copy and paste. And as far as I know, you can't do it with just copy and paste. I think when you log out, it clears your clipboard. That's just the way it works. But you can do something called saving a schematic. So I'm going to build a little building here. We will demonstrate that quickly, and then we will move on to something a little bit more complicated. Okay, so that's my fairly simple squat. I just want to do two more things and I wanted to show you a little trick that I've never mentioned in any of my videos and I didn't know about it for an embarrassingly long time. And that's the search function. So I was doing this, I was doing I door one and it says could not find specified item. It's like, I don't know which, which thing you mean, man, help me. So the function that you can use that's really easy is search. So you just type search and then part of the words that you're looking for. So you can just type door and then it'll tell you all the different types of doors and you can just use the number or or you can write it out the way it is. So I'm gonna just do I324, I need one. I'm gonna put in my wooden door and I'm gonna give myself a sign and write, oh no, I gave myself the wrong kind of sign. There we go, it's fixed now. Home, sweet, home. Okay, so now I have to select the whole thing to copy it to my clipboard, so I'll start up there, get that corner, and then go to this corner, and I want to get the floor too, so I'm going to expand one down. Now I have the entire building selected, including a bed and all these things, and if there were items in the chest, they would be copied along as well. I'm going to leave the door closed. I'm going to stand right here. Remember that every time you use copy and paste it's going to do it relative to the way you're standing. So I'm going to stand in front of the door and copy. Now it's in my clipboard and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a function called save and this is called a schematic. You are saving a schematic. So I'm going to save this as uh, <laughs> Sean Hut. That's what it's called. Now, if there was not already a folder inside your Minecraft folder on your hard drive, if you're playing on a single player commands world like I am, or if there was not already a schematics folder on your server, which I'm not playing on today, ah, it's getting dark, hurry up, Sean, then a folder would have just been created that has the name of your schematic file inside it. I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll make use of my Sean hut. Be back in a sec. All right, so. Now the next step, now that we've learned how to save, is load. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear my clipboard, which is clear clipboard, all one word. Okay, now note that if I type paste, it says your clipboard's empty. So I don't, I don't still have the Sean Hut in my clipboard. It's gone. But I can do this. I can type load Sean Hut. Just, uh, capitalization is not important, but the spacing or punctuation, whatever, is. Okay, now Sean Hut is loaded, and remember where it where I was standing when I copied it. It was relative to me. I was right in front of the door, so I'm going to stand here, and I'm going to type paste. My goodness, it's another Sean Hut. Sean Hut's all over the place. And I noticed it did not copy the sign, which is weird, because I've seen signs copied in schematics. I'm not sure. What's up with that? But everything else is here. Uh, this chest, I should have put something in to show you that it works, but it totally does. And uh, that is how schematics work. There are websites out there, and I'm gonna go distance off here. Uh, just fly over here. There are websites out there that have schematic files by people who are better at building than me. And I'm gonna point you to one, it's mcschematics.com. I don't know anything about them or anything, I'm not affiliated with them, but that is the place that I found. And I'm going to show you two of their users' schematics. And these are the kinds of things that I think schematics are really for. So I'm going to load Japan Castle, load it, I'm gonna paste. Woohoo! Okay, 
<laughs> as the chunks load. This is not the largest schematic I have seen by far. There was one called Hogwarts Castle that actually kind of crashed my game, which is the reason I'm not using it for this tutorial. But uh, this is Japan Castle, and the name of the builder is there on the screen. Uh, I'm Again, I don't know these people, but this is their schematic. This is their property. I can't pass it around. You should register for MC Schematics. Oh, doors broke. You should register for mcschematics.com to download them for yourself. And just like everything else with World Edit, you can undo. So I'm gonna pump, make that thing disappear. And believe me, it has disappeared. It's just glitching. There we go. And I'm gonna show you another one, which I haven't looked at yet, so this could be a, a frightening experience. This is called the Black Skull Castle. I hope I'm far enough from everything. The Black Skull. Black Skull's one word, obviously. <laughs> Paste. Ooh, pasted it behind me. So one of the disadvantages to the website is it doesn't explain to you where you need to stand. I think that you can actually load schematics into other programs so you don't have to paste them this way where you're actually in the game and you could actually like accidentally kill yourself or other people with them. You can probably load them into MC Edit. But uh, this is the way that I'm showing you how to do it. And this is the Black Skull. Again, uh, Builder's name is up on the screen there. Thank you very much for your uh, unknowing cooperation. But these, these are pretty fantastic. Oh, look at this. This is great. I think I know uh, several builders who could really get into this. I won't name names on this video. But uh, this is a pretty cool thing. I think this is the direction I'm going to move in instead of allowing my world to be downloaded. Because my world is over 100 meg. It was 100 meg when it was first uploaded. I think I want to start making schematics so that people can download chunks of my world. Things that I build, but not the entire world for 150 meg a pop or whatever and uh goodbye black rock oh so cool all right guys that's how to use minecraft schematics i hope that's helpful please leave any comments and let me know what you thought and what i should do for the next minecraft world edit tutorial thanks for watching see ya